Welcome back to Rounding Things Up, Section 8. In this section, we're going to have a look at how to monitor our resources, how to gather our findings, and how to present a report. In Video 1, Monitoring Resources. Now, why would monitoring resources be important within a test? Well, first of all, your VMs might take too much space, or you might run out of space. You can fry your machine trying to crack a password, and you might have miscalculated your space requirements on your actual VM setup. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at different aspects of checking our resources. And let's begin. So the first thing that you want to check over here is how much RAM you have to your disposal. Because remember one thing, if you set up a machine and that machine has got say for example 8 gig RAM, then you need to minus that 8 gig off the 32 gig that I have open in front of me now. A virtual machine takes its resources from the base machine. You cannot go and set your virtual machine to run on 32 gig RAM if you only have 32 gig RAM to your disposal. Next up, we are going to have a look at the actual operating systems that we have installed within VirtualBox. So on Kali Linux, I'm going to go to Settings. And in Settings, I'm going to go to System. Now over there, you have got the amount of RAM that you're using. I'm currently running 6 gig RAM. Now yes, 6 gig RAM is 6144 megabytes because 1024 meg is equivalent to 1 gig. So it's 1024 times 6. But yes, and for the little math session there, from there we have a look at the processor and this is basically how much cores you're going to have. I've got 8 CPUs in which I'm only using 3 for this virtual machine. Closing that one off, I'm going to go to one of my client machines. Now my client machine is currently running on 2 gig RAM. And I've only got one processor allocated. Now bear in mind, if I'm going to be running a client machine and I'm running Kali Linux, then I'm running an equivalent of 8 gig RAM. Plus, I'm using 4 cores, which means my base machine only has 4 cores to operate on and 24 gig RAM to work with. Is it 24 gig? Now, during a resource intensive process that you're running, like for example, cracking passwords, I don't like doing this, but now you can see what's going on on my machine. We are going to go to the task manager. And on the task manager, you're going to go to performance. From here, you're going to check your CPU usage. That needs to be low, because if it's not low, and if it's going to run on a hundred for a long time, you might stand a chance of frying your machine, which I don't think you want to do. Also, you want to keep an eye on your RAM so that you don't exceed the RAM that you are currently using. I want you to go and start up that Kelly Linux machine. I want you to show you how we are going to have a look at the resources within Kelly now. In Kelly Linux, you can go to your terminal and from there, you can just go and type in TOP. Now TOP, or top, is going to tell you very much the same as the task manager would. Obviously it's not going to look as pretty, but it works like a bomb. It's going to tell you how many tasks you've got running, how many processes are sleeping, how much RAM is being used, how much other additional space and buffers are being utilized. So it's a very, very nice tool to tell you exactly what is going on on your system. But as I said, the most important thing for you is to know what is going on with your RAM, especially if you are doing brute forces or any form of password attack. And that you're not going to be doing in Kali, you're going to be doing that on the base machine. So essentially, what I'm trying to say is, if your resources are fine, your test and your labs will be fine. Just make sure 
that you've got a sufficient space that you did not overutilize your ram that you did not over specify your hard drive space and you'll be fine